this right here is nothing but pure snap-on and it's the end result of what you end up having to take to a junkyard to uh, to get everything you need. Uh, I put it in my backpack and I go and this over here is the stuff that I did not take and I'll show you. I basically have um, a set of basic sockets. Well, let's get the uh, subway bag out of the way. Even a snap-on flashlight. Check it out. Uh, you got a set of the um, long torx bits, T30 and T27. Full set of the uh, wobble extensions, 3H drive. Also have the wobble plush, which is a hell of a lot better, and quarter inch drive. Have a 3H inch breaker bar. And I also have a full set of the um, 10 degree offset ratcheting wrenches, 10 through 19. I also have. Um, uh, eight and nine millimeter and also have a set of um, Torx bits which are buried near somewhere. I also brought a um, basic set of screwdrivers, a um, trim piece tool, two screwdrivers. These aren't snap-on and these are not, not snap-on either because vice grips from O'Reilly's. And, um, and these are actually uh, external Torx bits. And um, these are swole sockets. You just never know what you're going to need in the junkyard. And here's my uh, flex head ratchet. Anyway, on to the meat of the story. Um, what I went there for is I went there for a headlight and mainly for what they call a header piece, um, a, cow, uh, a cowl. And the reason why I went there, let me make sure I get my cord with me because my battery's about to burn out. I'm trying to film this on the fly. Um, I went there and I got the, these are all the same from 94 through 97, uh, regardless of the trim model, uh, base model GLT T5 or, or T5R, or the RC and the R model, and essentially what this is, is this is right here is where the horns go, two light fixtures would go, light fixtures, <laughs> headlights, and then the turning lights go, turn signals go on the end, and this hole right here is for the windshield wiper motors. That, um, for the, sorry, for the headlight wiper motors. And this is the, one on the bottom is the new one, and the one on the top is the, um, is the older one. And actually what happened was that some schmuck decided to cut through here to access the headlight wiper motor. And so what I ended up having to do was, I ended up having to um, <sighs> take off the stuff over there and, um, Basically, just I ended up having to screw the clips back on my car to incorporate some kind of a ghetto ghetto security. I'll show that to you right now. And uh, let's grab the keys over here. This is the uh, headlight, by the way. It's a genuine Volvo. It's I was gonna get the other one that was chipped, but this one is it's in excellent condition. I only needed the passenger side. I didn't need the, uh, the driver's side. And. Um, should have grabbed the turn signal, but those things are always pretty good stuff. So let's go outside and take a look at what we have here. Aside from a barking dog. This is the front of the car that I have right now. And um, believe it or not, yeah, it's locked. But you can still put your hands in there. People can still fuck with it if they want to. But Anyway, I'll show you what I did. Let's hope it unlocks and stuff. Yes. Okay. So essentially, same as the lock, just not a grill on it and stuff. Just pull the tab forward and then pull up. And basically, what this is is basically this is ghetto security. Um, so people wouldn't, these fucking monkeys wouldn't stare at the utility and radiator and shit. Basically what I did was I bolted the two, um, these two, um, clips over here, which clip onto up here to secure the hood for right now. And, uh, I still have to go over here and remove this little, uh, section right here. And then I can go ahead and uh, take the clips off and go ahead and put the, uh, the front cowl back here sooner and then, uh, put this back together. But for right now... Uh, one thing at a time. Uh, I already have the other headlight in there. And 
I wouldn't do this before the uh, before the um, weather gets too bad. The sun goes down. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.